Happy New Year! I am sorry I haven't posted anything recently, um, mainly because I've been working at the theatre and that's been keeping me really, really busy. Um, but today I'm doing a Shakespeare monologue. I'm doing Lady Percy from Henry IV, part two, which is from Act Two, Scene Three. Now, I haven't done this, I haven't looked at this monologue in a while. I've been focusing mostly on contemporaries, I have noticed. And I haven't done a lot of sort of modern, um, not modern, sorry, uh, any Shakespeare or Congreve recently. So I thought it would be a good idea to do a little bit of Shakespeare today. Now, this character seems, she's very, very independent, I feel. And she knows what she wants. And she's really not scared to stand up for herself in this monologue. She, her, her, her husband has died because of her husband's father and her hus and her father and not is about to go out into war again and she's gone are you completely idiotic that is a stupid idea so yeah this is her monologue basically she's giving her father and not a bit of a telling off i might be a bit rusty with this monologue that's what i'm worried about i do know it completely off book um and I have used it in auditions before, um, but I just want to give it a go today and see how I go. Thank you. Oh yeah, for God's sake, go not these wars. The time was father when you broke your word, when you're more endeared to it than now. When you're Percy, when my heart's dear Harry threw many an northward look to see his father bring up his powers, but they did long in vain. Who then persuaded you to stay home? Two honours were lost that day, yours and your son's. For yours? God heaven brighten it. For your son's? Stuck upon him like the light in the grey vault of heaven, and by his light did all of England's chivalry move to do great acts. He was indeed the glass wherein the noble youth did dress themselves, and those who and those who had legs practised nigh his gait, and speaking thick became the accents of the valiant, and those who spoke low and tardy abused their perfections to seem more like him. Is that in speech? In gait, in diet, in affections of delight, in military rules, in humours of blood. He was the mark and glass, the copy and book that fashioned others. And him, O oh wondrous him, O oh miracle of men. And him did you leave. Second to none, unsecond by you, to face the hideous god of war. To abide by a field in which only Hosper's name did seem defensible. Never, oh, never do his ghost the wrong. For you to hold your honour more nice and precise with others than him, let them be. Let them be. The marshal and the archbishop are strong. But if my Harry had but half their numbers... Today I might hang upon his neck and speak of Monmouth's grave. I definitely lost it at the end. I forgot the words and um, I had to look at the script again. I really love this character. She's brilliant to play um, in this monologue. And I love it. And I feel like when I first did it, I didn't quite grasp the anger and the heartbreak she was going through of watching somebody make the exact same mistake again. And now, I'm going to be honest, now after a little bit more life experience, I understand her frustration and her anger. And I've sort of had to dig down in myself to think, okay, how did I feel? How did I feel when I sat there and I watched somebody making the same mistake and not listening 
to other people's advice and I realised I was like wow I was completely annoyed but I just wanted what was best for them I wasn't doing it out of malice I wasn't doing it to hurt them I said what I said because I wanted them I wanted what was best and that that's what she wants in this monologue she wants what's best for not only her father-in-law but for her father-in-law's kingdom because he's well yeah for the kingdom otherwise a democracy is going to fall and she's feel she probably feels like she's one of the few people who can speak up against the king because she is so close to him and this character has a lot of depth to it i still need to read or watch the play um i haven't got round to it and i'm currently reading it at the moment um but she's a really, really strong character and she's wonderful to play. And I understand her frustration when she's going, oh my word, you're not listening to me. So I tried to make it almost motherly in a way. Like she's lost somebody who she loves very, very dearly. So she's trying to point that out that that wasn't just anyone, that was his son that she lost and that she loves him and that she wants only what's best for the family. So yeah. I'm going to end the video here. Um, thank you for watching. I hope you're having a lovely new year so far. Uh, bye.